Introducing the Sharp XCA217 cash register from Shop Stuff. Sharp 217 is available either in the off-white colour shown in this video or in black. 217 is an entry-level hospitality cash register, ideal for small cafes, bars or delis or that type of application. The machine comes with a flat keyboard with a splash-proof cover included. On the flat keyboard, the most important thing is you have up to 70 presets, which means you can have 70 different products with different prices and different descriptions. So if you press one of these buttons, it comes up with the description and the price on the screen. If you add in multiple items, it will also come up with a subtotal on there as standard. The operator display is a clear LCD display. It's also a multi-line display, so if we've entered lots of items in, we can use the arrow up button, scroll through the items, and then find the one that perhaps was entered incorrectly, so we can now void that item by pressing the void button, and we've now got a new subtotal. When we get to the end of a sale, you've entered all your items, you subtotal it, the customer gives you a £10 note, you type in £10, and then you've got three different tender buttons on the machine. So you have TLNS, which is your cash button, and then CH1 and CR1, which can be used for either check or credit card payments. So at the end of the day, when you do your report, you have one total for cash and then separate totals for checks or credit card payments, depending on how your business operates. For the purposes of this demonstration, we'll say that it was a cash payment. So press the cash button. Cash drawer fires open, so you can get the change out, and a receipt prints out. First of all, the change is displayed here, so the operator knows how much change to give, and it's also displayed on the customer rear display, so the customer knows how much change to expect. If we take a closer look at the receipt. Firstly, we can see it's printed on thermal paper, because it's a thermal printer, so the receipt printed out very quickly and very quietly. Now you can see on the receipt, each item has its own individual line and it also has the price for each individual item on there as well as the total, the cash tendered and the change given. You also have three lines at the top and three lines at the bottom which can be personalised to your specification. So you can pop your shop name on there, that number, telephone number, possibly a website or perhaps just a thank you message at the bottom. Take a close look at the cash drawer, sturdy heavy duty metal cash drawer which can be locked at the front if you're not by the till. Take a look inside, you have a removable coin tray with eight deep coin pots, so there's enough pots for each UK coin denomination. You then have space for three standard note holders. And then at the side here you've got two more trays which could be used for say £50 notes or probably more likely cheque payments or credit card slips. So see here you've got an SD card slot, this is very useful, you can back up all the TILS program into an SD card or you can back up all the TILS reports to the SD card then when you pop your SD card into your PC you've got all your reporting on an Excel spreadsheet. OK, let's take a closer look at some of the other function buttons on the keyboard. Here you've got L1, L2 and L3. These are level buttons. So not every pub will use these or every deli will use these, but they're useful if perhaps you have um, membership prices. So certain people pay different prices or perhaps you have a happy hour. When you press the level button, you can sell the same products, but at different prices. Over here you have the void button. You have a paid out button, which is useful if you're paying a tradesman out of the day's takings. So say the window cleaner comes in and you need to pay him £8, the cashier can pay him using the paid out button, and then that's recorded on the report at the end of the day, so whoever's doing the report can properly reconcile the cash takings. You have a couple of discount buttons here. As standard, these are open discounts. So if we pop, say, a £10 sale through one of our departments, we go £10. Department 1, and then subtotal, and then apply, say, a 10% discount through the percent discount button. That will take £1 off the sale, so we have £9 subtotal. Now, you can preset these discount buttons if you have a set discount of 5% every time, 
or this button could be preset to be an actual amount of discount rather than a percentage. Okay, other poor important buttons are here you've got EJ View. So if we cash that sale off, you notice the print there's only one printer on the machine, and this can either be set to give receipts or not give receipts. If, if it's set to not give receipts, you can issue a copy receipt so the customer asks for one. So you notice that there's no journal roll, so you can't have a quick look at the roll, the journal roll to see what's going on or what has been going on earlier in the day, like you would on a traditional cash register. If you press the EJ View button, that'll bring up the last transaction. So we can see that we did a £10 through Department 1, and then there was a 10% discount applied to that. If you keep pressing the EJ button, it will go back through all the sales you've done that day. So whatever you need to find, you can keep pressing EJ View, and then you can scroll back to the very start of the day and find whatever you were looking for. Press Escape Cancel to come out of that. Above Escape Cancel, you've got the Mode button. Now this mode button replaces the old style cash register key lock um, that you would use to control which mode you went to. So in the old days the operator would have one key that turned to a sales position and the manager would have a master key that went to sales, reports, programming etc. On here you press the mode button and it brings up all the different modes on the till. So you can scroll down, say you want to do a report, you scroll down to the report mode, press this button and it will enter the reporting mode. Now you can protect these modes, say if you don't want the operators to go into the programming mode, with a passcode. If we press the mode button again, say scroll down to PGM and press TLNS, it's asking us to enter a passcode. If I don't know that passcode, I can't change any programming on the machine. You can sell different passcodes for each mode, depending on who has authority to use them. You can also disable the use of, say, the no sale button and the refund button, without the manager being present. So if I try and use refund in the normal mode, it won't let me unless I know the manager passcode. We press escape cancel out of there. Another useful function of the machine is that each operator can have their own passcode. So if I'm not logged onto the machine and I want to log on as number two to pop a sale through or open the till, I press two, CLK hash, and then it's asking me to enter a passcode again. Again, if I don't know this passcode, then I can't operate the machine and I can't open the cash drawer, more importantly. Okay, that pretty much covers all the basic functions of the machine. Um, a question we're frequently asked is the dimensions. So the machine, if the customer rear display is extended to its highest, is 365 millimetres high. It, at the width, as you look at the machine from left to right from the front, is 360mm wide and the machine is 424mm deep from front to back. The machine is available through the shopstuff.co.uk website. We sell it as standard pre-programmed, which means that you get a personalised colour keyboard with all your products on it. You get up to 70 of your products programmed into the machine with a description and a price. We'll also set up your departments and also your receipt header. So a standard will put a six line text receipt header on there with your company name, address, or whatever you want on there. For further information on this and other cash registers we sell, please visit shopstuff.co.uk. Thank you for watching.